Hey guys, so I'm here to show you a video on how I personally wash my um, beauty blender and the the things that I use normally whenever I use my makeup, the things that are can get um, bacterial buildup, and so that is my beauty blender and um, my eyeliner brush. The main product I'm going to be using is the Zote bar, Zote. It's a it's a Mexican um, soap. You can buy it anywhere in the laundry detergent. Um, or like dishwashing, dish, dishwashing um, products, and um, so yeah, it's under one dollar in the here in the U.S. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna make sure that my beauty blender is really soaked, that it's soaked with warm water. Then I'm gonna leave like some water inside the beauty blender, and what I'm gonna do is also wet the bar. I want to make sure that there's a clean layer of soap. On here before I even go ahead and use this to clean my sponge. Just say first, um, before I started to use the Zote bar, um, I did notice that my beauty blender did hold a lot of product, a dirty product. Um, it kept it for months in there, no matter how much I cleaned it, no matter how many times I tried to scrub it, it still didn't come out. And so after I heard about this, I tried it out and I fell in love. After that is been, both of them has been soaked. I'm gonna rub it into. The Zote bar. You can also go back and keep wetting the the beauty blend. So you'll notice that some product will be coming out of my um. See that it's foundation and my concealers all coming out of it, and it's already getting clean. If you guys can see that. So I'm just gonna do this in circular motions onto the soap. on other like your other makeup brushes but I would recommend not to do this on your makeup brushes because it can probably dry them out if you're not conditioning them also um, I think you can like I don't see a big deal but I think that you should do this like every month or so like not every like time you wash your brushes so I'm gonna rinse off the um, Zote bar put that aside and I'm gonna work my way with the beauty blender so I'm gonna push into the areas where I normally have foundation or where I would normally pat, pounce the um, beauty blender on my face. So I'm gonna squeeze that. You know, just play with it, squeeze it a little bit so it can get the soap really in there and working its magic. <coughs> Going back and wetting my beauty blender. So after um, that's been really foamed and nothing else, like any other foundation or anything's coming out, you want to rinse that out with warm water. It brings back that pink vibrant color it had when you first purchased Beauty Blender. And yes, this is, it works excellent and I will be using this for the rest of my life. I love it. So how I'm going to let this dry, I kept the container, I just leave it like that and it dries and once it's um, once you let it dry like this, it'll go back into its container and back to its normal size when you first purchase it. So yes, that's how I clean my beauty blender, and it's all fresh and clean for whenever I need to use it again. This is how I clean my eyeliner brush. This is what I use to like do my um, top liner. Like let's say if I do a wing or a top band, or let's say if I want a tight line extra really tight in my eye, like my water, my tight line, I would use this brush. These, these things can hold more bacteria than any other things. And your foundation brushes and like, I don't know, things you use for your face pretty much. But that, I'm going to do the same thing. So we're going to work that. You already see the black coming on it. You see that? Nasty. No, look at it. Play with it on my hands. And there you go. Your things, your tools are now clean. They're clean as a whistle. And so I just leave this in there because I mean, like, this was like, this is an art brush. <laughs> this is an art brush. This is what I use. I just keep it like that. That's how I let them dry. I teach you how you can store this. So first, I'm gonna take it out of its wrapper, and I'm gonna clean it up very well. Make sure there's no residue of makeup or anything like that on it, so you can have a clean slate for next time we use it again.
Once that has been clean, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna re-put it back in its such wrapper. I like to use um, sandwich bags. You can also put it in a container or however else you like to store it. I put it in two sandwich bags. I really do hi highly recommend the Zote bar. I think it's very it's very inexpensive. It's one dollar, like one dollar, and it comes in a big brick to clean this. I mean, like it's very anyone can afford this. Anyone and. Um, yeah, it just does good things, and I recommend it to anyone who does makeup or uses beauty blenders or eyeliner brushes. I think this is a very needed, necessary thing for you. Well, there is different things that you can use it for, and I personally don't know them on top of my head, so um, if you really want to know, you guys can look it up. I know it's good for taking out stains out of clothes, and it's just uh, it's just used for clothes, pretty much, I believe. Um, but yes, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and... I will, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.